Fuck, there's so many flies. Mm. It's more or less uh, the realization that I'm actually really alone now. Mm. What I want to do is actually throw you a lifeline. All right, we got us up on fire. Bit of a gnarly gash. <laughs> oh, if I had a dollar for every time I slept on a rock. I forgot to tell you what I chose as my three items from that pile of survival items that I put down in front of Elias. I chose bug jacket. I chose a flint striker because I know how to use one really well. So for me, that's a pretty much for sure a fire. And I chose the, uh, what they would call the space blanket or emergency blanket, because I know that it's fairly large and I can use it kind of like a tarp roof if it does come on to rain. If it doesn't come on to rain, then I'll just use it as a blanket over top of me and hope that it keeps the heat in. I better start getting some firewood together. Elias needed to go through what I've gone through, which is why A, I wanted to leave him alone. B, I wanted to leave him disadvantaged with the, the, the tools that he had at hand. And the only way to do that is to do exactly what I did. Here's your A, your B, and your C. Now deal with it. That puts him on a level of understanding what I go through when I'm out there. And that would set the stage to enable him to put me on his level of what happens in the gym and what happens in the ring. Welcome to Chateau Elias. You can see my newly made minted hammock. Now we'll be sleeping above ground, um, both to avoid the um, bugs and potential snakes, cougars, and everything else that could be coming out of here at night. Got myself some water from the river that's not too far from here. Don't really trust it, uh, to be completely honest, although see how desperate I get in a little bit. Definitely makes me miss cold, cold water out of a tap. So I guess uh, when it's all said and done, I'll at least appreciate the little things that I take for granted back home, like no bugs. It's not that bad. It's better than sleeping on the floor with all those other bugs. I saw a spider that was clearly pregnant. And it scared me so much. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna sleep with my mouth open? I'm gonna wake up with a mouthful of roommates. So once dark comes, I'm just gonna close this up and go to bed. So that's kind of my game plan right now. Just wait till the light goes out and then uh, let's hope a bear doesn't come. <laughs> a lot of wishing and praying. Like, again, I kind of kept an open mind. Um, obviously, every fight isn't an easy one. Some of them are easier than others, but some of them you have to push through. Um, case in point would be my fight against Tiago Santos. Um, he's a tough individual, a madman, if you will. And it was my first loss, but one of my proudest fights, even the ones that you don't necessarily win, uh, you come back with uh, potentially a winner's mentality. I was uh, kind of going in that realm in the aspect of surviving, because um, he hit me with everything I got, even to the point where I was peeing blood after the fight. You know, I survived to tell another tale and came back stronger. Hey, hey. Now we're talking. How you doing? Not too bad. Yeah? Could always be worse. Looks good, though. Do you need the candle now? No. You wanted the candle so bad. You're thinking, I should have took the candle. I should have taken the candle. <laughs> Why did you want to? Well, I thought maybe, like, again, um, it would help with uh, the bugs if I kept it closer. I didn't, no, I no, could. No, It's tempting. See, the reality is these guys are also, just like not drinking 
you know, wilderness water is, is overplayed, candles are overplayed in survival mm -hmm. situations. They're really good for getting a fire going, you can scrape yep. the wax, that sort of thing, light this and then get other things. Yep. But for the most part, you know, they're, they're not that helpful. Mm -hmm. I'll make you a trade though. So you haven't got my fire going yet. Now, I do have a striker, but it'd be a lot easier if I could use the knife. So I'd be willing to make a trade for that knife to help you get through the night if you don't think you need it. The answer is definitely yes. Uh, that's a go? <laughs> definitely <laughs> yes. The answer is definitely Here yes. Here you go, man. I'll give you that night. <laughs> the answer is definitely yes. A little piece of me cried <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> I had a feeling you might react that way. Awesome, that's Thanks. a fair trade. Good deal. <laughs> this is like Christmas. It's funny how often the term survival gets used for fighting. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you're gonna survive in the ring. Yeah. Kind of thing. Survival mode. Survival mode. Yeah. yeah. When you get hit. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta get a hold of your 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 opponent. Mm. You get rocked. You just gotta get a hold of them. Just to survive that that moment yeah. where they they can knock you out yeah. right it, oh that was my back i didn't know what that was it's your backpack attacking you it's gonna be a good this night. is gonna be an interesting night <laughs> <laughs> so tough this yeah, spider yeah. is Well, after all this bragging about being able to get a fire going with a flint striker, I better be able to do it. This is some stuff I gathered, nice and dry, 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 dry grass. But since I'm going to be using just the spark, I gotta peel this birch bark really thin. The thinner it is, much easier it will be to ignite into flame. All right, so I've got the uh, the knife that he traded for the bug jacket. Now this, I've never tried this one before. It's a, it's a new one to me, so that's why I wanted to make the trade for the knife because uh, this is actually a good scraper. I just know with a knife, I, can, I, I just have a feeling I'll be better if I have the knife. All right. Never been so nervous to drink water. I mean, it tastes good. It tastes definitely tastes good because, you know, I'm thirsty as hell. But it's just that in the back of my head, I'm just terrified what I'm ingesting. Tomorrow at the gym, I'm not gonna be as mean as I thought I was gonna be. Obviously, since Liza gave me that net at the end, uh, it's gonna be a lifesaver tonight. So I'll save his life a little bit tomorrow. Um, but uh, with an inch of his life. Again, I, th I think Les has that survivor mentality inside the cage and out. Definitely have that shown tomorrow when I push him and 
make sure, you know, it's sweating every single second. Oh, my, my ears and my, my head feels a little, um, it's hot from, uh, from fly bites. Uh, my fear is happening. The uh, wind has completely died down. And I was hoping if I stayed out here that uh, I'd have that advantage over Elias. Breeze to keep the mosquitoes down. Breeze has gone completely. So we'll see how this goes. Without a breeze, if the mosquitoes do happen to like this temperature, and I can hear them buzzing right now, then it could be a long, bad night of mosquitoes. And if you think, oh, that makes it easy, guess again. You try sleeping with a million mosquitoes hovering right above your face as they land on the screen and they want to get you buzzing all night long. I'd rather be cold than covered in mosquitoes. This is the wrong time of year to go out and do any kind of survival excursion, if you will. This is the bug season. Now, granted, it's Northern Ontario and the black flies are gone, but the deer flies, the horse flies, the no and the mosquitoes, they're all still here. And they're here thick. And what happens is the deer flies take it to you all day long, along with the horse flies. Then they punch the clock and the mosquitoes and the no move in. This was going to be bad. I knew it was going to be bad, and it was awful. I mean, I don't mean this in a condescending way or a patronizing way, but it was really bad even for me. And I'm not that bad with the bugs. The way Elias is in the gym and training, that's how I am with bugs. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we got this. Not for him. And I knew it wouldn't be like that for him. It would be horrible. And it was horrible. Night is upon us, and so are the mosquitoes. This will be ooh, probably the hardest part. Darkness, bugs, the unknown. So we'll see how much sleep I can get. Um, you know, I'm already itching, but <laughs> I've been itching all day. So I'm just gonna have to push forward and finish what I started.